All right, let's stay on all things tech here. NVIDIA investors have had one amazing year with the stock up more than 230%. So what are your choices in the options market if you want to ride the NVIDIA wave or hop off this bullish tech trade? We have Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery and Jessica Inskip, Director of Education Product at Options Play to tell us more over at the Wi-Fi Interactive. Guys? Thank you, Sazi, and thank you, Jessica, for joining me here today. We are looking at gains of NVIDIA of 240%, kind of been in a range here, but investors might be sitting on some gains, wondering what they can do with their money, and today we're going to be talking about how that is done in the options market. And uh, first of all, let's go here. We're going to talk about a covered call. This is an option strategy when an investor sells a call option while also under, uh, while also un, excuse me, owning the underlying stock. So, Jessica, Jessica, you have an NVIDIA stock and you think, okay, maybe it's going to go up a little bit, but I don't think it's going to go up a lot. I want to make some money in the, inter in, the, in the meantime. How do I execute this? Yeah, absolutely. So you're absolutely right. The first requirement is you have to own 100 shares of the underlying security. When we have an option, we're creating an obligation to sell in this place with the covered call. And what we're going to do is we're going to collect an upfront premium. It's a way that can be a reduction of your cost basis. So you're reducing how much you've actually paid for NVIDIA by receiving that upfront premium, but in exchange, you're obligated to sell your shares at the strike price that you choose through that entire obligation So you period. could lose them. That's kind of the downside, potentially. You, you could. There's a give and take with options. Give is I'm getting the premium. Sounds like an option. Yeah, that, that All it right. is. Let's get into the nitty gritty. We have a profit and loss chart of one particular strategy. This would be selling one February 2016, uh, February 16 call, covered call for 570 at the 575 strike. Um, and I should say, February 16th is the expiration date, so we've got 40 some days until then. Break That's down right. the math in here. Yeah, absolutely. So we, first of all, we want to select about 45 days for obligation period. It's very important when utilizing options that we specify the right strike price and expiration date. But what we're going to do, we're going to receive, receive about $500 worth of premium for this. You'll notice this is giving us some width, as in room for us to still participate in capital appreciation, because when we own the security, we want it to go up in value. That's the goal. So so that's our take. That's what this flat line represents up here. These two are standard deviations, which we want to, mm -hmm. it's a way to layer on technical analysis with the Well, options is all about math. There's a lot it of math is. involved. It doesn't have to be in, uh, intimidating though, but just kind of speak as to in general, how options can improve uh, an investor's return here, just in general terms. Yeah, absolutely. So in this point, it's just adding additional yield while participating in capital appreciation. It's a great way to enhance a longer term portfolio just know that you're creating an obligation to sell your shares, but we allowed for capital appreciation. So in this case of the covered call, premium of $5 per share, about 500 total, that reduces the cost of NVIDIA slowly over time. But if you sell, that's still a healthy game. All right, let's go to another strategy here. Let's say uh, I don't necessarily own the stock, but I want to get into NVIDIA. I think it's, it might have a little bit of a pullback, and maybe I just want to be sucked into that trade. But uh, on the other hand, if it goes up, I might be able to make some money. Uh, but you just break down the math here on that one. Yeah, absolutely. So a cash secured put, this is the other side of the options chain. I don't own the security. We're selling the option, so I'm utilizing the obligation to buy. So I have to have enough cash set aside to buy 100 shares of NVIDIA. But the pros, very similar. I'm going to receive that premium up front. The give and take, though, you'll notice when we go through the real examples, yes. is when we have that premium, we actually have upside risk. So if you're expect, expecting a really large accelerated move to the upside, you actually would make out better just by owning the security. But the way this is positioned is utilizing a cash secured put with the intent to buy the underlying security. We are actually utilizing options to reduce our risk basis. And the worst case scenario means you buy the stock, which was your intent outright if you were intending to buy the shares. Or maybe the worst case scenario is that the stock takes off and you're just left behind. You don't have any participation. That's right, but you still are on your max profit in this type of trade. So you'll notice a different structure, mm -hmm. similar expiration, 45 days till expiration. That options are complex. That allows you to have that time decay that we want as option sellers. But the strike price that we're choosing is 490. Yes, very close to the stock price because we don't own it. We don't need to account for capital appreciation. We need to make sure that we buy the security, maximize our premium. So we're yes. actually getting $22 a share on that one. 
Gotcha. And there's the and there is the price, the current stock price right there, 495. We got time for a brief another question here. Just in general, what kinds of option strategies are investors looking at for the new year? Anything seasonal that might be in play? Well, I mean, there is certainly a rise of those zero days still expiration options. We could spend an hour on that. We for could, sure. um, but that is a much layer of complexity. I think it's very interesting to utilize that more of a market measure. But um, what is emerging is this type of strategy. What we actually described is called the wheel strategy. So I don't own NVIDIA. I mm -hmm. sell cash secured puts at the money. I'll receive $22. I just reduced my cost basis by $22. Yes. You think about that percentage wise, that's 5% you're making in a 45 day period. And it's modest. You're not necessarily having those astronomical gains because you're not participating in capital appreciation at that point. But it's just a structure of buying and selling the stock, utilizing options, much like a, a limit order. Yeah, you know. so investors looking to participate, maybe if if uh, you, we're not dealing with the dividend stock, NVIDIA not known for its dividends, you can still earn a yield in the options market if you play your cards right. Thank you for joining us, Jessica Inskep Thank of uh, Options Play, and we're sending it back to you guys.